Hey, folks. Hey. You notice how I, like, noticeably perk up when, um... You're getting raped, or you're fucking a game? Yeah. Well, when, like, like it's actually getting back to fucking base robot fighting basics. Yeah, I have noticed. When it, when it gets a little too bullshit, I didn't notice. Yeah, like, this is actually... This is Zone of the Enders. This is, this is what I'm here for. It does look like what I was promised. Right? This is what I was promised. Right? High speed robot fights. Uh, but oh well. I guess just like anything in movies or you gotta tough out the shitty parts, right? I guess. It's just those are just really jarring shitty parts. <laughs> it was. Yeah, oh my it, there were a lot geez. of them on yeah. this game. There in were a, row. a lot. A lot of them in a row. It wasn't like just one it... moment, maybe two, but it was like a lot and it was continuously building up to more shit. And it oh, made me lose everything. Spiders! I haven't seen these guys in a while. Oh, does it take you back? A little bit. Oh, fuck. So, I'm wondering... Okay, I'll get rid of one of these guys. If you actually want to see the vector cannon, I don't know if I can actually use it yet, but yeah. maybe... Okay, let me get rid of this raptor, and let me give some space between me and this mummy head. Let's actually try out vector cannon. Oh, I can't... I can't shoot it yet. Oh, oh it's not... A I have it. It's just not activated. That's dumb. You have to be a certain level to I use I think it. you need, like, a fucking plot device item to use it. It's like, oh, get the firing codes! Really? <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Oh well, I guess I'll see it eventually. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, definitely. When the time comes to fire the vector cannon, it is very satisfying. No, I I fucking I wanna Ah, oh, whatever. I wanna give you a Oh but man. Yeah, this is definitely back to the rhythm of Zone of the Enders. No. Well, so how's work been going? You're in like what, week two or three of it? Work is cool. It's the same. I feel like I'm still like learning stuff about the job, but Are are people like already making snarky remarks about the office newbie? Not really, not okay, that I would that's know. Good. There's no water cooler, so I can't get any weird gossip. I don't know how gossip <laughs> works there. It's just a very weird kind of a work environment where I'm dealing with more of so people kind of my age but there are people that are completely in the sales team so I don't really deal with them but then it's like the people I'm around are just like you know a, quite a bit older than me and I feel like they all kind of just treat me as that young whippersnapper trying to learn the ropes and I'm sure. just like okay and and, so, and, I, and the thing is they kind of treat me as if I know a lot of s pop culture stuff. I mean, you have a decent knowledge of pop culture stuff. Yeah, but they ask me a lot of like, like, oh, like I must be an expert on social media. And <laughs> no, I don't you're know. Not. I know, I know. And immediately, <laughs> you I'm, hate like, that shit. I, I'm like, did you guys expect me to work on social media? I thought that was somebody else's department. Oh, no, no, it is. But we, we figured. You know, you're 25. You must have a wide knowledge. And oh god, did I try to Dude, contain my laugh? No, you should have just laughed at that, but said no. <laughs> I was trying so hard, I didn't want to laugh, but I was just like, absolutely not. Like, let's not even go there. So, but yeah, they'll make like little assumptions like that, you know. Or somebody once tried to talk to me about some weird girly reality show. I don't even know what they called it, but I was so blown away when they were talking to me about it, because they talked to me as if I knew what it had to be. And I and they went on such a rant about it, you know? And I, I didn't want to interrupt them, but I kind of just wanted to stop them and be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Please stop. It's scaring me. <laughs> but she just she got so riled up about it. What show is this now, anyway? I can't even remember. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I should look it up. I think it's like on TLC or some shit. Oh, God. Or some <laughs> other channel that I don't watch. <laughs> the only TLC show I watch is say yes to the dress because I like the the family drama that happens. So I'm just like s looking at her like, please stop, 
But I couldn't say no to her. But I was like, please stop. Stop talking. I don't you really know. just, I think what you should do is just completely shatter their expectations of what they think a young person is. I am slowly, <laughs> I'm slowly like, shattering. Like violently, like when they're, when they're like, so what do you think about like, why do you think I know about that? Oh, you're 25. It's like, I don't give a shit about that. It sucks. I know. I know. <laughs> like, or like, oh, well, what I do you know about like being social brash. media? I Fucking feel being... nothing. I deleted my Facebook account. Years ago. <laughs> but fuck, like, I hate when they sometimes do that. I guess I can't blame them. They're kind of old, you know? Like, they kind of treat me like, they're kind of like that huge meme. Like, hello, fellow children. Like, but I feel like they're slowly putting together like, wow, we didn't hire a typical kind of youngster, huh? But whatever, well, it seems like everybody's kind of warming up to me. Because the idea of a typical like young millennial person is wrong. <laughs> like, remember that fucking clip I showed you from from Cool Games Inc. <laughs> from what? <laughs> from Cool Games Inc. Uh, what was it about? The the, uh, the Cars three bit. Oh, that and, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, oh, millennials, and it's it really is true. Like, all the people that make our media, or at least a lot of the people that make our media, are like really fucking old and don't know how to handle it. So they take that out on. Oh, I vaguely remember this part. They take that out on us by like, um. Like they they Making vent they vent their frustration yeah they vent their frustration with their own fucking mortality by assuming that since that since they're old now, um, like like they just are, they just are the very typical like oh the younger generations are at fault like that fucking Simpsons the Simpsons quote it's like am I out of touch no no it's the children who are wrong yes <laughs> basically <laughs> um. Okay, where do I gotta go? I think I vaguely Down? remember this part, but I also remember that a lot of... There we go. Is this still this test your skills thing? To yeah, this old is man? like... Now we're actually in the basement. Oh, Jesus. But in case you haven't noticed, there's like smushy parts. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. But I like the job. It's pretty laid back. I can't complain about it. I like that I'm not constantly under supervision and I kind of have my own little space. I can't deal with jobs where I feel like I'm being watched like, or it's just crowded. Like, I get a little claustrophobic. Yeah. If I feel too much around me at the same, I need my space. I need that kind of job where I'm not in a little tiny space. If that makes sense, you know? No, 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 I get it, you. It gets me too worried. It's like my... I start panicking. Oh. So I like that, you know, there are times <laughs> where I have to deal with them, where they take me out onto the field. I actually like it when I go out onto the field. It's actually kind of fun and taking notes. I, you know, I will use my handy dandy post-it notebook. notes. <laughs> I do have a little notebook that I like to take with me. Um, and I usually, they give me a tiny laptop and where I sometimes Think. have to work on it while we're on the move. Yeah. So it's actually kind of fun because it, it kind of feels like, you know, when the teacher says, hey, it's a lovely day outside. Let's go take class outside. And everybody's like, yeah, class outside. That's kind of how I feel whenever one of the managers, like, you know, he's like by the window. He's like, oh, we, we got to go to the to a certain site and check it out. Like, and because it's usually be like an air conditioning unit or for like impact windows for a business or something. And they're trying to do estimates and they'll be like, Hey, Maddie, let, hey, let's come with. And I was just like, yeah, we're going outside. <laughs> yeah, so your new job is basically like a field trip all constantly? It's kind of, yeah. I don't know if maybe it's just now they're trying to get me all warmed up about it, but I hope mm. that's a thing that we occasionally have to do that. But yeah, it's, it's been a chill job. That's cool. Uh, I still do occasionally the tutoring stuff, which is fine as well. I like that, you know, summers have pretty chill time. Yeah. Oh my god, come on. Go away, you fucking clod. But yeah, like, a lot of people ask me if I do summer bridge, which is apparently a thing. I've always heard about that term being dropped on me lately. Like, oh, do you do summer bridge? And I was like, what's summer bridge? Is that like a school, like a summer schoolwork stuff? And it is, basically. It's like a basically like a um, McGraw like kind of books that came out and they're supposed to be if you finish the fifth grade you go and get the fifth grade summer work which is supposed to refresh everything and prepare you for the next grade so it's like a summer preparing book workbook 
And I see. So people ask me, oh, do you, do you have experience you know, working with kids with Summer Bridge? And I kind of looked it over, and it God looks pretty it. simple. It's like pretty easy summer work. Uh huh. But that's kind of what I feel like I've been doing for like one family. I just go after work occasionally Jesus to their place, Christ. and I'll be there for two hours just doing like extra work, and it's it's super chill. It's so chill. I like that the family doesn't hover over me. I can't stand those families that hover. So I've gotten into the rhythm rhythm of summer work now. And we're all out of time. I don't know if you want the episode to run a little um, longer. Hold up. Let me just kill this portal. Sure. <laughs> hold it. Got hold it. it. Nice. Got it. All right. Next time on Geek Raiders. Next time. <laughs> all right. See you tomorrow, folks. Bye, everyone. Bye.